Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Nacho here, and today I'm bringing you my Titanfall first impressions video. Um, I picked this up for the Xbox 360 because, as most of you know, uh, I don't have an Xbox One or a PS4, although the PS4 wouldn't really matter because it didn't even come out for it. Um, but I never got an Xbox One, and I barely came out uh, yesterday, actually. Well, today, when I'm making this video, uh, because when I make the videos, if you guys don't know, I usually make them a day ahead of time, and then I upload them overnight, and I schedule them for later in the afternoon the next day. Uh, so when you guys are going to see this, it's going to be the second day of release. Um, but when I'm making this, it's the day of release, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, but this is going to be my Titanfall first impression video um, in this gameplay I don't really know what I go I don't really know I mean you guys know I don't really care about scores anymore I just kind of play video games for fun I just picked it up because you know Titanfall had a lot of hype behind it um, I've played it at VCR's house before on the Xbox one when the beta was released um, and you know it's still practically the same game it's a lot of fun and I'm gonna be going over what I like and what I kind of dislike about the game so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it and uh, you guys are going to stick with the entire video because it is going to be a rather long one because this game um, the gameplays tend to last from anywhere from like 7 to 10 minutes, but you know, it's kind of, you don't really notice it because it's so, so fast paced, which will bring me into my first point. So, this game is unlike any other console game I've ever played. Um, I mean that in the sense where, you know, typically when we play video games, when we play Call of Duty, when we play Battlefield, when we play stuff like that, you only play against other real people. You know, when you play Call of Duty, you play Team Deathmatch, you only play six on six, and those other six people are real people, like real online people that you're playing against. In this game, they did something that I've never even thought of, or I never even thought a game developer would ever think of. They threw bots into online matchmaking. So, you know, there's these grunts, there's these, um, I forgot what else, there's something that starts with an S that you can also kill. They threw these bots into the game, scattered throughout the maps, so just random and respawn, you can kill them. And, you know, it made it... It's such a great idea. I don't know why any other game developer has never thought of this or why, you know, it's never come up. But Respawn Entertainment, I give you guys a round of applause because it is honestly one of the brightest and smartest ideas I've ever seen come out of any console shooter game. Reason being is because if this game, um, this game, as of, I, as if I remember correctly, it's 6v6 normally. I think I was just playing Team Deathmatch in this gameplay or whatever it's called. I honestly don't even really remember what it's called. Um, but whatever it is where you just kill people. Um... Normally it would just be 6 on 6, and as you guys can tell, these maps are pretty humongous if you guys are watching the gameplay. You know, they're not the smallest of maps, you know, they do have, you have a lot of distance to cover. And, you know, by including these bots that randomly spawn throughout the game and, you know, randomly spawn throughout the map, it makes it so much more fast paced and it makes you feel like you're not as bored. You know, these maps I can compare to like the size of Battlefield, honestly. Um, and, you know, there's really not that many people to kill, but with introducing the bots in here, you know, it really makes a big difference, you know. The way that they balanced it out, which, you know, I give them another round of applause because this game, I'm not even going to lie, it is one of the most fantastic games I have ever played from launch. Um, I don't know if it's just because it already came out on the Xbox One, so they've had time to fix a couple of the bugs. Um, you know, it could be part of that. But, you know, this game is honestly one of the best games I've ever played on release. Um... You know, when you kill grunts, when you kill bots, when you kill stuff like that, the way they balanced it is you don't get as many points or you don't get as many, you know, um, the way this game works, every kill you get, um, shaves time off of your Titanfall. If you guys don't know what that means, practically, when you first start the game, I think it's 2 minutes and 30 seconds until you can get your first Titan. So, if you get no kills, if you get no points, if you don't get anything, if you just sit in a corner for 2.5 minutes, your Titan will be ready to drop in 2.5 minutes. The way they did it was every kill you get or every amount of points you get, it shaves time off of the Titan. So, let's say you start the game off and you kill like 6 grunts, 6 whatevers, you know, it shaves maybe 30 seconds off of your Titanfall. So, instead of waiting 2 minutes and a half, you only have to wait 2 minutes now. And, you know, the way they did it is instead of, let's say you killed a real person on the other team, which, you know, you really do notice it because when you kill grunts, when you kill bots, you you feel like they're not human-like because you kill them every time you shoot them You just kind of decimate through them You know I've kind of come to realize that when you're shooting at bots you kill them in like two three bullets Honestly so so fast and when you're killing normal people or other online people um, It takes a good amount of bullets. I don't know if it's just because I have a bad internet connection I don't know if it's just because I have bad aim um, But that's just something I've noticed and you know I think it's one of the brightest ideas I've ever seen because you know, for example, let's say you get uh, 10 points for killing a grunt, you get like 100 points for killing a normal person, which is really a fantastic idea, because if they made it the same amount of points that you got from killing grunts that you did from killing uh, normal people, it would be ridiculous, it would be absolute mayhem, it would just be titans running around the entire time, which practically it is, um, but you know... 
it, it's such a great idea and I hope other game developers take some notes and start integrating maybe some bots or they start adding in you know AI into online multiplayer because it honestly makes for a more fun experience because this game I feel like there's never any you know low point you know everywhere you go everywhere you run everywhere you turn everywhere you look there's always something to shoot which is absolutely crazy I have never played any console game at least on the 360 or PS3 or in my lifetime for that being where there's always constant mayhem 24 7 you know call of duty you know is a pretty fast pa fast paced game you know not ghost ghost is a kind of a bad example but you know previous call of duties have always been pretty fast paced and you know even at that there was never really enemies 24 7 you know you kind of had to walk, walk, run around for a bit walk around for a bit then you see enemies in this game literally every corner you turn everywhere you look there's always something to shoot and it just makes for an overall fun experience um, you know, another thing that I want to talk about was the Titans in this game. The Titans in this game are ridiculous, you know. If, if someone starts off on a good streak, it automatically puts your team in a good position to win the game already because usually what I've come to notice the first team that can start stacking Titans tends to be the team that's gonna win because Titans are so somewhat difficult to kill and they have a lot of health obviously and it makes it it's ridiculous easy for Titans to kill everything else because they have such a big a large amount of health and you know their guns just de absolutely decimate everything you know once you, the person who gets off on a good streak can get a tight end and then that kind of, it kind of translates into your team doing better. And you know, one thing I kind of dislike is when the game kind of gets to the halfway point, it's literally just titan mayhem. Everywhere you go, there's titans everywhere, you know. And the thing that sucks is once your titan gets destroyed or once your titan gets, you know, um, killed, it kind of ruins it because if the other team has like 5-6 Titans on their side, you just get absolutely demolished, which kind of makes for not a fun experience, you know, it kind of makes you play a lot smarter, a lot more defensively, um, but that's just one of the things I really noticed, you know, the game has a really good connection overall, you know, I have really bad internet, I have like a 0.3 up and like a 1 download, and you know, I've been getting pretty good signal, you know, I haven't been lagging around, I've been doing, I've, had, I've been having fun, I haven't been like, you know, screaming at the top of my lungs because I all the kills or all the deaths I've been having have been absolute bullshit, um, um, but you know, that's really it for my first impressions, you know, overall, I really do think this is going to be one of the best console games I've ever played, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy seeing videos from it, because I'm going to be producing a lot of content from this game, and if you guys have not picked this game up, I really highly do recommend you guys go get it, it is honestly a fun time, you know, none of my friends on my on Xbox, or none of my friends on my Xbox Live friends list have gotten it yet, um, I'm not sure why, you know, maybe just a lot of people don't really play video games anymore, but definitely, if you guys have, find yourself, you know, playing Call of Duty Ghost, bored out of your mind, definitely, definitely, like go pick up this game um, but that's practically it for my first impressions you know overall I have nothing bad to say about the game so far it's honestly just been such a fun time playing it for the past like two hours so you know there's really no negatives so far maybe if I see more negatives down the road I'll let you guys know um, but other than that my name is Pablo TV thank you guys for watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up and um, I'll probably do a real life uh, workout tip video later on this week um, probably on Friday or Saturday so you guys can be looking forward to that and the hiking vlog that I was supposed to post on Monday uh, I got some bad news. I'll explain that in a future video, though. Not the point of this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, like the video. Leave me your feedback in the comment section below. Love to talk to you guys. Um, other than that, my name is Pablo Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Nacho Nation. <laughs>